It is important to consult your doctor before practicing any of the techniques presented in this videotape. Fumio Demara, born in Yokohama, 7th Down, technical advisor for the United States Karate Team. Hunger. In Karate, we say, there is no first strike. Always the first move is defensive. This is the credo of the true Karateka, the devotee of Karate. The knowledge that you have the ability to overcome an assailant will give you the confidence to rise above petty insults and walk away from trouble with dignity. Fumio Demura is an instructor and is correctly called Sensei Demura. The techniques he will demonstrate here are as difficult to master as they are powerful. It would be an error to suppose that you can learn karate from this tape alone. Rather, this tape is best used as a study guide and workout guide to supplement rather than replace instructions from a qualified teacher. If you were to study a weapon and become an expert in his use, you might feel confident while armed. But what should you do if you were suddenly attacked while unarmed? The karateka is never unarmed. His or her body is a weapon. This tape is divided into the following sections. Stands, the postures of defense and attack. Striking points, the body's weapons. Hand techniques, using your hands as weapons. Leg techniques, using your legs as weapons. Blocking techniques, defensive moves. Basic workout, warm up and training exercises. Basic sparring, exercises with a real or imaginary partner. Sensei Demura and his student will now demonstrate several important karate stances. Learn them first as a basic standing posture, then as a starting point for each of the techniques you will learn later on. Heisoku Dachi. The attention position. This is not a fighting stance, but a position of respect that proceeds and concludes karate exercises. This stance are toes and heel together. Tie your stomach and draw the chin. Weight in the center, your hand on the side of your body, and keep your back straight. Come on. Musubi dachi. Closed stance. This is a defensive stance, similar to the previous, except that the toes are pointing out, and the hands are positioned to protect the groin and stomach. This stance expresses an attitude of ready defense. Samkata, a form of karate exercise. Start from this position. Hey, yoi. Now, this stands in the same way, except 45 degrees each, your toes out, and heel together. In the same way, keep your back straight, and tie your stomach muscles. The yoi, already position. This position precedes all basic movements and kumite or sparring. This is the yoi position, which means ready position. Keep stance the same with your shoulder and a little bit towards out. Balance is 50-50, and you tighten up your stomach muscles a little bit, and you hip in a little bit. Keep eyes straight. Naifan Chidachi also known as Hibadachi, the horse or straddle stance. This is a training stance, one you are not likely use in fighting. In a training situation, however, it is excellent for developing leg strength and general stamina. Uh, this is a knife and dachi, some system called Kibadachi. 
should be towards the end and near them about one open hand between knee and heel yep. and push your knees out to the about the big toes weight to the center and keep your hip in and draw it a little bit and push knees out you know. Forward stance. This is a basic stance, the most common stance you will use. It allows for easy forward and backward movement. It is used for practicing most basic and fundamental punches, blocks, and kicks. This stance is a forward stance. Front leg needs bend, and back leg needs straight. Back leg toes is 45 degree and push back to the heel. Shoulder and stance is same width. Push forward 60%, back leg 40% on your weight. Should be weight is about here and keep your back straight. The very important is hip twist in Tie your stomach muscles. Make sure toes a little bit in. Push your knees out. Come on. Hey. Han kokutsu dachi or kokutsu dachi. Hey. Back stands. This basic stance is more defensive than the forward stance because it puts you farther back from your opponent. Hey. This stance is a very difficult stance. Back leg toward a little bit in, push your knees back. And back leg here and front leg should be straight line. Now, weight on the back leg, 70%, front leg, 30%. You should be weight on. Keep your hip in, stomach muscles down. Of course, body the straight. Twist your hips, push your weight on the back side. Neko Ashi Dachi. Cat stance. The cat stance is almost completely defensive. However, of all the stances, it is the easiest from which to counter attack. Uh, this is the called Neko Ashi Dachi cat stance. It's a very difficult stance, especially this stance are 90% weight on the back leg. And the back leg is a 45 degree, and front leg should be 10% your weight on, and all your toes touch, but here that should be just touch the floor. And also, next point, you have to be hip a little bit out and both knees should be in. Keep your back straight and front leg is always free. Yamet. Yeah, 
Hourglass stance. This is a good defensive stance that provides leg protection to the groin while leaving the hands free. It is also a good training stance that develops and strengthens leg muscles. Hey. Hey. This stance are toes in, both toes in and knees in. And both, tighten them up, both knees in, and about between the legs, about one fist. And stands are same with your shoulder and your foot. Special just the stance are tighten up the stomach muscles and all body muscles put them in the center. And they keep your hip in and push your knees in. Either straight. Cross leg stance. This is a defensive stance most commonly used to block a kick. The crouching position makes you a small target, while your crossed arms protect the stomach and the chest. This, this stance are uh, close over the, your legs, which is only using for defense. And special, you move into the, your opponent. They're using this stance. It's not common stance. Unusual stance and weight is the same weight, middle. 50, 50, you weight on. But back leg, uh, not much to put weight. Front leg, just like a cat stance. 90% weight on the front leg. Back leg is about 10% should be any time from this position to move back. Weight on 90% and keep low stance. Hey. Hey. In conclusion. Stance are not decoration. So it's not just how to make a pretty. You must know how to properly walk. Each stance are weakness and strongness. For example, this naifan chidachi. This stance are very strong for side, but very weak for front or back. Same way, zenku chidachi. This stance are, is a defense or offense, either way it work, because going to forward or back. Strongness is this direction, but weakness is a side direction. This direction or that direction. Next stance, cat stance, nekowash. Cat stance is a very defensive stance because weight on the back legs. And so front legs are easy to use anytime. But if too much weight on the front leg will be weak. So stands are very, very important to make perfect. Hey, just hit. Hey. now consider the striking points. That is, the area of contact your fist or elbow makes with an opponent. The striking points can stun or disable an assailant. To be effective, maximum concentration must be directed to these points of impact. Sensei Demura will now demonstrate several important striking points. Beginners should definitely not practice these punches with an opponent. The art of stopping short of contact or pulling punches requires considerable skill. Seiken. We begin with the forefist. 
This is the most common karate punch. It is one of the strongest of the hand techniques. The striking area is the first two knuckles. First, forefinger squeeze tight. And your thumb from outside cover two fingers. And squeeze every finger tight and keep your wrist and knuckles straight. A punch is delivered with a shout or kiai, which serves to unsettle the opponent while lending power and the expression of power to the attack. Hey! This punch delivers the same force as the four fist, but to a smaller target such as the bridge of the nose, the chin, or under the nose. The contact area is the knuckle of the index finger. In this finger, then above the other knuckles and your thumb from outside pressure to the first index fingers joint. Hey! Hey! Hiraken. The knuckle joint punch has reach over other punches but should be delivered to a soft target. The striking surface is the flat area between the second and third knuckle joints. Two ways you can make fast. One, flat. Other one, thumb put on the side. Basically, this kind of way striking using snap, rest snap. Using this area. Eight. 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 Oya yubi iponken. The striking point is the knuckle of the thumb. The thumb knuckle is directed to the side of the body, especially the temple. This technique is same way to make fist, except your thumb is the side of your finger. Using this area to strike. Hey! Hey! Shote. The palm heel. The striking surface is the heel of the palm. Using bottom of the palm heel. So fingers back, rest all the way out. The target areas are the chin, hey. the nose cartilage, hey. size of the body, hey. and the groin. Yong Hon Nukstep. Four finger spear hand. The striking point is the tips of the four fingers. Spear hand is four fingers together. And squeeze all this area. And thumb bend from first joint. The spear hand is effective against the eyes, throat, solar plexus and between hey. ribs. Nihon Nukite. Two finger spear. The striking points are the tips of the index and second finger. Using two fingers should be separate and use three fingers tight. Hey. Hey. This special technique only you can use for fingers to the eye. The one finger spear. The striking point is the tip of the index finger. Three fingers bend from second joint to make one finger spear or fist and put the one finger out. sword or knife hand. This is the famous karate chop, a commonly used striking surface.
Its power derives in part from the speed of delivery. The striking surface is the outside edge of the hand. This technique is keep open pin and the forefinger tight, your thumb at the bend. Make sure keep finger together. The knife hand is strong enough to break bones and can be used against virtually any target. Ridge hand. The striking surface is the inside edge of the palm on the thumb side of the hand below the fingers. It's the same way as stole, except using other side edge. So, forefinger keep tight, your thumbs deep in. So you can use this area. This hey. is a valuable punch when a chop hey. or other punch is blocked. Hey. Not the thumbs out. Thumbs in. Ken Tsui. Hammer or bottom fist. The striking surface is the bottom of the fist. This technique, just like a fist, except this area to use. Just like a hammer. Hey. For the beginner, this is hey. often a stronger defense than a front four hey. fist punch. Rocking. Backhand fist. The striking point is the first two or three knuckles of the back of the fist. This technique is the same way as the fist, except using top to the knuckles. When you use this technique, the very important is rest snap. This snap will be making you more power. This is one of the fastest techniques in karate in that the blow can be delivered in an instant with minimum preparation. Elbow strike. The elbow is used for in-close fighting. There are many deliveries and targets for the elbow strike, which we will show in greater detail later. The striking point is the tip of the elbow or the bottom of the elbow, depending on the delivery. This technique using elbow. This bone is a sharp bone, so any place you strike will be a lot of power. First, keep your fist, bend much as possible to the, your chest, using up or down or round, any direction, you should use. Hey! 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 We have introduced you to the striking points. Now we will concentrate on the delivery system, the hand techniques designed to deliver the weapons with maximum effectiveness. We cannot overemphasize. Beginners should definitely not practice these punches with an opponent. Sensei Demura will now demonstrate several important karate hand techniques, beginning with two important general principles. Hey. Your hips pulling back, same time other hand, punch. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. For this reason, the returning hand or draw hand can double the power of the punch. And other type of hips is twist hip in. Just like a baseball. When you hit the ball, use your hip twist. Same way, karate punch or uh, use your hips. One go out, one go in. Out and in. Also, very important things is the pow uh, power. You cannot punch, bend your elbow, or shoulders out, or knees bend, or heels up. Power go out from heel. Now, when you perfect the punch and make strong punch up, when you hit, this power go through from your shoulder to the hips, 
through the knee, through the heel. Your power end up right here. Therefore, when you hit, all the power go into the forward. Therefore, this punch are strong. Oizuki, lunge punch. In this punch, a forward lunging motion delivers the power. This is almost exclusively an offensive punch. It can be done from any stands. Oizuki, meaning front leg, same leg, same leg, same hand, to punch. Make sure, draw hand back to your middle of your body, elbows in. And stance correctly, keep your shoulders straight, punch should be center of your body. Watch your rest, not up or down. Straight. Stance, correctly, put weight on the forward, tie your stomach muscles, and keep your eyes straight. You made. Gyakuzuki. Reverse punch. Unlike the lunge punch, which draws power from a forward motion, the reverse punch draws power from the twisting of the torso. This is the most common counterattack and usually follows a block. This is called Gyakuzuki, which means front leg to upset hand punch, reverse hand. Therefore, called Gyakuzuki, reverse punch. The very important is your hips. Make sure when you punch, twist your hips. But you are not the shoulder extend out. Make sure stop on the side. Stand properly, tie your stomach muscles, punch in the center of your body, either straight. Remain here, make sure hip twist. But you are not over extend your shoulder. Remember, the draw hand adds power to the thrust of the punch. Raken Uchi. Backhand. It is not as powerful as other punches, but can be delivered very quickly. It can stun an opponent, giving you time to deliver a more powerful punch. This technique are using throw your body with it, hand. So your body is halfway. And using wrist snap, make sure you are not past your body or stop before that. Should be center of your body and same eye level. This technique are you can be thrust or you can snap, but to make sure use your wrist. And hips in, but your shoulder is back. This action is hips and other hand and right and left hand spread out. You may. The chop is delivered in a circular motion, which adds to the power of centrifugal force to the blow. Despite common misconceptions, the chop should be delivered only to soft targets. This strike is using outside edge of your hand, should be neck same level. Now, this hip movement are reverse from here, hip sideways, from left to the Right to the left. Keep your thumb at the bend and keep your finger tight. And keep your tight stomach. Make sure you use your elbows snap with it. You snap this area fast. Remember, do not allow your arm to go completely straight. A slight bend protects the elbow. Hiji Atep, 
the elbow strike. Age hiji ate. Uppercut. Yoko hiji ate. Side elbow strike. Otoshi hiji ate. Down strike. Mawashi hiji ate. Forward or roundhouse strike. Ushiro hiji ate. Rear or back strike. The elbow strike is used for in close fighting. Since it can be delivered quickly and with great power from almost any position. This elbow strike, first one, just like uppercut, using raise elbows up, use point of elbow to about your chin or eye level. And this time, make sure to twist you below the shoulder muscles stretch out but you are not going to too much lose your balance therefore keep your back straight the next side hey side elbow strike keep on it make your fist on your chest and stand properly if you overextend your body you lose your power therefore your body is straight and other elbow should be back in and tie your stomach muscles. The next one, hey, when you drop elbow, should be using your weight up and down. Elbow and you weight, same time, drop down to the floor. And keep your fist tight and arm together. The next one, hey, roundhouse elbow, which means round, twist your elbow, make roundhouse. And this time, same way, you must use your hips. With your hip movement and elbow together to develop the power. And next, hey, back elbow strike is your opponent from behind. Somebody grab you, you will be using your elbow to the back. Make sure your elbow, you hit your thigh. If you don't, you were not striking anybody. Make sure your elbow hit your thigh to the back. Come on. have introduced you to hand and elbow strikes. But karate also emphasizes the use of the kick. The leg is a good weapon, longer and stronger than the arm. Again, we warn the beginner not to practice these techniques with an opponent until the instructor qualifies you. We will now demonstrate several important karate leg techniques. My giri. Front snap kick. The snap or fast return is done so your opponent cannot catch your foot. The striking point is the ball of your foot, not your toes. First important point is, knees bring up properly to the knee level. Toes up and make sure knees in the center. Then snap out, make sure keep toes back using the ball of your foot. Your body not too much back and keep up. And after finish kick, make sure back to the same level of the knee. And body straight, not up and down, to back to the position. Side oh. thrust. This is one of the most powerful hey. kicks in karate. Hey. Power derives from the locking of the knee and turning the hip. The striking surface is the edge of your foot. First, oi. Need to bring up to the side. And before you kick, hip twist a little bit and stretch your legs. Make sure you keep your toes back. You are not the toes out or up. 
make sure back rock your knee and it should be body a little bit bend for farther in the back and down come on hey oi hey 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 sokuto keage side snap kick Again, the striking surface is the edge of your foot. First of all, knee to bring up, and your foot touch the other knee, and keep knees out to the side, and keep bend body a little bit low. When you kick, just like a front snap kick, knees up first, foot start out, but. Do not rock your knee. You have to get a little bit bend, so snap back quickly. One more time. Snap out and back and down. You made the side snap, though less Oy. powerful than the side thrust, can be executed Eish. quickly in response to a Eish. sudden attack. You made. Mawashigeri. Roundhouse kick. The roundhouse is the most powerful of the snap kicks. It is frequently used to reach around an opponent's block. The striking surface is the ball of your foot. First of all, this kick is a very difficult kick. Bring the knee up to the side. When you bring them up, knee and heel and toes should be same level and before you kick to the round make sure other leg twist a little bit and your foot otherwise we will be give you a lot of damage we need and you snap out when you kick make sure toes up you should ball the foot now when you reach the kick snap back to the your hips and back to the yoi position Yamei. Back kick. When attacked from behind, it is much faster to use a back kick than to turn around and deliver a front kick. The striking surface is the bottom of the heel. kick basically from behind somebody attack you you're using heel so bring the knees up look at the back because your opponent is behind you now when you kick make sure body bend a little forward and stretch your legs when you kick use your heel so make sure toes back and your ankle area tighten up master knees lock when you rock your knee same time you should back to same position and down oi ish hey 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 yeah man mikazuki geri crescent or half moon kick the circular motion makes this kick difficult for the opponent to see and is often used as a block the striking point is the bottom of the arch. This kick is called a half moon kick. First of all, you leg up, but it's not the knee to bring up, just the leg straight up and use this part of your foot so keep your toes up and much you can toes up here to close your body so you can use strike or block by this area to close your body and down 
Je mee. Knee kick. Like the elbow strike, the knee kick is useful for in close fighting, often directed to the opponent's solar plexus or groin. The striking point is the top of the knee. This kick, just like elbow, only you can use for close fighting. So, when you do need to bring up to so right there to strike to the low area, stomach or groin area. So when you bring up your knees, make sure other leg bend the knee a little low and practice high kick. Now you go back to the same position. And back leg knee straight, hip in. Come in. In karate, it is understood that there is no first strike. Always, the first move is a block. The intention of a block is to deflect a blow. A well-executed block will leave your opponent open to a counterpunch and put you in a position to deliver it. Here are several important block techniques. Upper block. This is a fundamental block. That is, a block from which several other blocks are derived. One important point is the 45 degree slant of their arm, which deflects rather than absorbs the strike. An important principle in that it reduces the impact to your arm, while at the same time redirecting the force of your opponent's blow to throw him off balance. Another point is the twisting action of the forearm, which rolls a punch away. This block arm basically brought into the face area. Make sure elbows first up high, body dropping down. So develop more power. And you are not bend same high your elbow the first because too weak. Or too much up will be no way you can block. So make sure you bend your rest about one open hand from forehead to the rest. And keep first elbow the shoulder tight. When you block, you are twisting rest. Tie your stomach muscles. Hey! Yoko uke. Inside forearm block. This is also a fundamental block from which other blocks are derived. It protects the torso from a punch or a kick. Hey! Hey! The rotation of the hip positions you for a counterattack. Hey! Notice how the rotation of the forearm deflects the blow. Hey! Hey! This block are basically middle area, stomach area. When you block, our elbows in, fist out. But if you do over elbow in, you will be body twist. Therefore, keep your back straight. About one fist between elbow the body and shoulder fist should be same height. Stance are with the weight on the front leg, half body, and keep your either straight. Eesh. Yoko Uchiuke. Outside block. This is a striking block. The same action that blocks carries enough force to injure your opponent's arm or leg. It can leave you in a good position for a counter strike to your opponent's back. Notice the force behind it. This block are from out to go in. So when you block, from here, make a circle all the way 
just like a roller, twist your wrist. Now, even the same block, if you do too much, you lose your balance. If you're not, well, if you are not blocking. Therefore, shoulder a little bit back, make sure elbow into the middle. Now, same way your shoulder and the fist, same way, one fist between elbow and your body. Harai uke. Down the block. The down block defends against a low level punch or kick. Straight arm protects more area than most other blocks. It is one of the most frequently used blocks and is a starting position for basic exercises and punches. This block are basically low level, which is low level punch or kick. When you block from your shoulder to all the way straight down to the knee level. Now, when you block, make sure every block you should use, use draw hand. Basically, 30%, 60 to 70% back. So you develop more power, block. When you block from knee to the fist, about one open hand, Shoulder are 45 degrees. And make sure you put the weight on the front leg. You are not blocking this. Because when you block this way, too shallow. You want to be somebody kick you. So make sure bend your knee deeper and weight on the forward. So, okay. Knife hand block. This is a good defensive block. Though probably the most difficult block to master, it has value in speed and positions the punching hand for a fast strike. This block is the same way as inside block, which is from inside block to finger straight out, twist. Same way. Same how your shoulder and the fingers keep you one fist between elbow and your body. Only difference is where the stance is different and your hand will be solar plexus, not your side of your body. Solar plexus to defense and the cover for your body. Now make sure elbow are not out or straight. Bend your elbow and in. Juji uke. X block. The X block is a strong two-handed block which can stop a kick or a punch. It is very useful against a bigger opponent or an attack with a stick. This block is basically two hands together. That means you're strong than one hand. So basically, bottom is keep your fist because somebody kick. That's why you block. Also, somebody punch your face. Keep your open hand. Now you can grab right or you can grab left. Either way, you can block. So two good reasons to use this block. Number one, strong than the one hand. Number two, you can block either right or left. Free uke. Forearm block. The forearm block is used to defend against a kick. It protects a wide area from the shoulder to the groin. The twisting of the body adds power to the deflecting action, putting you in a position for a counter-attack. This block uh, uses forearm 
area, forearm block. Swing, swing your body and pass your body. So stop right here. Now, same way, if you over block, you will be losing your balance. And if you're too shallow, will be cannot block. So make sure you pass your body. And you have to watch your body are not moving forward or backing. Keep your back straight and twist your body. Make sure you're not going to twist, so you block him by top of the arm. Itch. Because of the locking straight line motions used in karate, these locations are a risk. The following warm-up exercises are designed to lessen that risk. They should precede your regular training exercises. View them once to learn the motions. Thereafter, use this portion of the tape as a regular warm-up guide. Switch. Jumbi undo. Any sport you do, very important is your exercise. So let's start a little light exercise first. Check in. Up and down. And circle. Another way. Okay, man. Hey, jump. One leg jump. Other leg. Jumping jack. Neck up and down. Side side. Round. Other way. Hey, okay, fit together. This time relax your body, leg stretch. One leg cross over, same way. Down, all the body relax. Other leg, high down, up. Now put your both in the hips and hip rotate. The other way. Both sides touch your knee from in, out, knee rotate. This exercise is possibly harmful, but it has its purpose. Hey, out, in. It strengthens the knees to prepare them for locking thrusts common to many kicks. For non-experts, we recommend only a gentle Both action. Both knees together, left to the right. All right, right to the left. Come on. All right, look, uh, look spread out and twist your body. Hey, other way. Hey, switch. Hey, switch. Make sure to twist your head. Okay, man. Spread your legs. This time, your arm here, elbow down to the floor. The old school suggests a bouncing action. It is appropriate for experts who know exactly what they're doing. For and everyone else, up, we recommend no bounce, just a gentle stretch instead. Up and down. Up and back. Hey, up. One hand back. And the other hand up, side muscle stretch. 
Any other way? Any other way? Any switch? All right, this time, body rotate. All the way back. Any other way? Yeah, man. Now, this time, I want you to leg spread out. Wide as you can. Keep it toward the end. Spread your legs. And the hip push way back. And body swing forward. All the way up. Head up. And back. Start again. Hi. Knee. Sun. Hunch. Yeah, man. Hey, move up a little bit. One leg bend, side leg stretch. Hey, other leg. Hey, switch. Let's go a little bit fast. Switch. Switch. Switch, 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 switch. Yeah, man. Hey, first, keep your knees straight. Put both hands behind your head. Head down to the knee. Hey, each, knee, sun, shi, go, look, switch, hutch. Good. Spread your legs. And this time, head down. Grab your right toes. Keep your head down to the knee. Down. Up. Center. Grab your toes. Up. Grab the left toes. Up. Start again. Right. Up. Center. Up. Left. Up. Hey, this time, left foot in. Same way. Grab your toes. Head down. And right foot in. Lay down. Up. Change again. Lay down. Up. And switch legs. Lay down. Up. Now, put the feet back. First, toes out, push your hips back, up, forward, and down, back, hey, relax, up and down, hey, I'm ahead. now, toes back, relax, this time, make sure you put the feet out a little bit, all right, body, back, lay down. Now, put the both with the front view. First, grab your ankle and rotate. Toes up and down. Hey, other foot. And toes up and down. Together, grab your toes, hip move up. This time, butterfly stretch. Both knees up and down. All right, press down. Hey, up and down. 
All right, press down. Let's do one more time. All right, press down. Now, this time, forehead touch the toes. Yeah, man. Hey, up. Hey, yo. Step. Hey. The following training exercises should be performed a minimum of three times a week. They are designed to make karate techniques instinctive. Because in a combat situation, there is little time to think. Shoshin shot. Left back step in. Harayuke. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Will be two count. How to step and how to punch together. Two count. Each. Make sure foot touch. Eight. Each. Leave. Each. Leave. Yes. Step back. Each. Leave. Each. Leave. Each. Leave. Hey. Now all together. Each. Eight. Some. Hey. Step back. Each. Eight. Some. Hey. Gagu Duki. Punch. Step in. Each. Eight. Some. Hey. Step back. Each. Change, Hey, stepping again, okay. Upper block. Ish. 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 Head. Step back. Ish. 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 Head. Step in your cold cap. Ish. Ish. Some. Head. Hey, step back. Ish. Send down. Hey. My getty. Front kick. Ish. 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 Hey. Ish. Squeeze you get. Ish. Ish. I step in. Cross and kick block. Mikazuki get it. Ish. Ish. Step back. Four on block. Free you get. Ish. 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 Hey. Hey. Hey down. Sokuto get it. Ish. 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 Hey. Step back. Reach hand. Haito uchi. Ish. 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 Hey. Again hiji atep. Step back. Ish. 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 Hey. Hey. Hiji yoko ate. Ish. 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 Hey. Step back. Ish. 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 Hey. Cross block. Juji uke. Ish. 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 Hey. Hey. Step back. Ich, 
Step back. Itch. 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 Hey. Yo, man. Hey, this time, you go get him. Right leg step in, keep it at you. Hey, do it. Hey, you go get it, kill again. Itch. Yokogeri Kekomi. Itch. Itch. Yeah. Turn. Itch. Itch. Here it is. Turn. Let. At this point, the beginner should rewind the tape and repeat the basic exercises. Then conclude his training with at least 10 minutes of stretching to cool down. The intermediate and advanced karateka should continue on. Go. Left leg step in, high you get. I step in, one face, double stomach punch. One jodan, double chudan zuki. Hey. Step back. Step in, again, okay, Jack Uduki. Step back. Step in, Yoko Uchi Uke, Jack Uduki. Step back. Itch. 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 Hey. Step in. Yoko uke. Gyakuzuki. Itch. 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 Hey. Step back. Same way. Itch. 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 Hey. Step in. Harai uke, kyaku zuki. Itch! 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 Yes! Step back. Itch! 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 Nine hand block with the back stance and the chin forward stance and spear hand. Stow uke with hankok tsudachi and nuki tep. Hey. Step back. Itch. 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 Yes. Hey, make fast. Step in. Close and kick. Gyakuzuki. Gazuki geri. Gyakuzuki. Itch. Itch. Yes. Hey. Step back. Scoop block. Spear hand. Squee uke. Itch. Nukitep. Hey, make it fast. My Gary Gyakuzuki. Ish. 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 Yes. Step back. Forearm block and reach hand. Free UK. Haito Uchi. Ish. Ish. Yes. Step in. Yoko Gary Gyakuzuki. Ish. Step back, stoke, nuki tip. Step back. Itch. 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 Yes. Mawashi geri, yakuzuki. Itch. 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 Yes. Step back, free uke, hai to uchi. Itch. Itch. Hey, yeah, man. Combination kicks. Both hands down. Hey, 
前蹴り横蹴り逆突き1ステップバックエルボーアップエルボーランハウスエルボー上げ肘当て回し肘当て1はい防戦ダウンはい、正門へ横蹴前蹴り横蹴り1 Up elbow, round half elbow. One, deep, thumb, eight. Mai geri, mawashi geri. Ich, ich, eight. Step back, stouchi, reverse stou. Ich. Same thing. Ich. Ich. Yes. Step back. Ich. 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 Yes. You may. Ich hab's hit. Ich. At this point, the intermediate karateka should rewind and repeat the previous exercise. Then conclude with stretching. The advanced karateka should continue on. Kyup! Jokyu sha! Leg step in, harai uke. Hai! Yes! Step in, oizuki, neko wachi dachi, shuto uke. Ish! Ish! Sam! Step back. Back stance, nine hand block, front kick, spew hand. Ish! Hanko kutsudachi, shitouke, mae geri, nukite. Ish! Step in, yoko geri, yoko geri, gyakuzuki. Ish! Ish! Step back, ageuke, mae geri, Yakuzuki. Ich. 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 Hey, mawashi geri, mawashi geri, yakuzuki. Ich. Ich. Yoko uchi uke, yoko hiji ate, uraken uchi. Ich. Double hand down. Hey. Hey. Ushiro geri, yakuzuki. Ish. 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 Neko washi, shito uke, mawashi geri, nukite. Ish. 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 Mae geri, Yoko geri, ushiro geri, yakuzuki. Ish! Koku tsudachi, yoko uke, yakuzuki. Ish! Ish! Zan! Mae geri, mawashi geri, ushiro geri, yakuzuki. Ish! Step back. Nekawashi, gedan barai. Mae geri, yakuzuki. Ish! 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 Mae geri, yoko geri, same leg. And yakuzuki. Ish! The back, low high dachi, yakuzuki. Ish! 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 
前蹴り回し蹴りセームレッグエンキャグズキよいしよいしよいし上げ受け払い受け逆付けインプレイス前蹴り横蹴り後ろ蹴りはいカイツ1はいチャン1やめ It is important to follow your training workout with a cooling off session that includes at least 10 minutes of stretching. You may choose to repeat some of the more gentle warm up exercises. Sparring or kumite is free fighting with an opponent, where you may use any of the techniques in any combination. In kumite, the face is never touched. Repeat, the face is never touched. The body is touched only very lightly. Control is critical. A beginner must not practice with a partner. Typically, a year of training is required before beginning kumite. Mawai! First, you run kumite. The very important is distance, called mawai, between two people fighting distance. Basically, short, medium, long distance. When you short distance, You should use your elbow or use your knee. And if you're medium distance, you should use your punch. And a little farther away, you can use either front leg or back leg. Now, tension. Eight direction, eight different way you can move. For example, number one, move forward. Number two, side. Or other side. And move forward, 45 degree. And other side forward, 45 degree. And step back 45. And other side 45. Now, this direction is to make you a big difference. For example, from here, you step straight back. Counter punch is too far away. But if you move sideways, you will be right distance. I did. <coughs> also, very important is. Partners. Most of the time, self training, sometimes you don't have any partners. When you don't have any partners, your very important is your imagination. Hey! The following are one point sparring exercises in which the attacker attacks only once. Jordan! Attack to the face. This upper block, grab the rest. This is his weakness. Pull down, hand up, left hand, chop the neck. Chora! Hey! Hey! This again, okay, should be a little closer. So grab the rest, twist the bring to the waist. Same time, right hips, twist, and elbow. This technique are after block, you arm the same direction his arm, straight down to the armpit, and strike to the solar plexus. Block, beginning I told you right or left you can grab either side 
This time, grab the right hand, pull down, go just before, pull down, go behind, knee. And grab, pick him up, right hand up, and strike to the back or neck. Join. This block, use the same hand, same time, to strike to the side of the ribs. So if this doesn't work, you can go to the legs to pick it up. This movement, step side, sweep block, using elbow strike and Step back, back strike. Grab the arm, back the front, pull to the this direction. Hand up, elbow strike. Done! Hey, 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 hey! This kick are uh, no blocking. Step back, drop your body, both hands touch the floor, and step. Back it. Cut! Eight! Eight! Cue done. Attack to the midsection. This block, forearm block. Make sure keep your body straight. You are not bend forward. Straight body. Same block from outside. And hey! Hey! this time use your cast stance and inside block. So weight on the back leg, therefore is to use your front leg. And the kick. Punch. Hey! Hey! Step aside the kibadachi stance. Go between the legs. Use your elbow. Now when you use your elbow, make sure first cross into the chest, knock out the top. Because if this elbow doesn't work, you can use your backhand. Hey! Hey! This time, down block. And hand up to the ear, twist your hips, strike the neck area. This time, from an X block, use the reverse. And the pole, kick. Soon the kick, put your left hand push out, and double hand strike. Hey! Hey! This block, Step back, cat stands. Use your leg block and double punch. Face and the stomach. Hey! Hey! This time, use open hand, knife hand block. And kick the stomach area or groin area and strike soft area. Hey! Hey! This block, a uh, one movement. First, turn, catch the arm. Spinning, and twist your arm, elbow.
Get down. Attack to the legs or the lower area. This front kick, you should use down block. And twist your hips. Use your finger to the eye. Make sure twist your hips. This block, step back, cat stands. And front leg, use run house kick and punch. This block, step back and spinning back kick. Now, if you step back too short, you will be too close. If you step back too much, too far away. Therefore, you must study right distance for you. This block from under scoop, pull, and use your body swing, reach hand. This block is a special watch your distance because step back, sweep block, same time punch. It's a very important it's snap. This technique, step back, forearm block. Soon the block, you will give a punch. And grab both legs or pants and pull. And jump up the back or your head. And finish. Karate is a discipline that requires intense concentration, dedication, and guidance from a qualified teacher. What we have shown you here is merely the foundation of an art that can extend to a lifetime. This tape should be of use to you throughout your training, at first as a guide to basic movements, and thereafter as a reference to correct procedures and as a workout guide for regular training. Remember, this tape cannot replace a qualified instructor. Do it.